So just coming onto your back. I'm bringing the soles of the feet together and the knees out wide. If that's too much of a stretch, obviously do something different. Feet flat, knees up. It's your choice. Let's bring the hands to slowly rest on the belly. And take a little sway from side to side. So just feel the, the glutes and the lower back and the sacrum towards the back. And I want you to also notice that natural dip in the lumbar spine. So notice that lift up away from the mat. And also notice the shoulders pressing into the mat. All the way up to the crown of the head. And when you breathe, I want you to exhale out the mouth the first few times, just releasing yourself, bringing yourself into the mat, into the practice. Just bringing your awareness into how you're feeling today. And how you're feeling at this very moment in time. And you can take that breath up to four or five or six if it's available. And as you have the hands on the belly, just breathe into the hands, feel the ribs pressing into the hands. If you want, you can take the hands around the sides of the ribs and maybe towards the back. And really feel that breath in the back of the body as well. And again, just being aware of any pains or aches. Just being kind to yourself. Deep breath all the way in, all the way out. A couple more. When you're ready, just slowly moving one or both of hands over to the chest. And as you breathe in, just feel the chest lift and press into the hands. Gently drawing down on the exhale. Just slowly moving the hands to the shoulders and notice that when you inhale, shoulders externally rotate away from the midline. As you exhale, they gently draw back. Take a couple more here. Nice. When you're ready, on the next inhale, let's slowly draw the knees in towards each other. So we've been stretched out for a while, so take your time and just give your thighs a nice squeeze. I'm going to gently draw each knee into the chest one by one. Give yourself a nice little squeeze and a gentle rock from side to side. So just notice how that feels in the lower back. If there's any pain or discomfort, and you just come out of it or reduce the intensity. And then we're going to slowly release the arms and slowly release the legs and have a nice big stretch. And we're going to stay here for three, 
Bow your head for two. Taking a nice deep inhale for one. And release. Beautiful. And let's just draw the knees into the chest again. And this time we're going to inhale. We lift the forehead up. Shoot the fingers up. Nice and active. Engage the core. Exhale to lower. We're going to inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. We're going to take three more. And slowly release. Nice. I'm going to bring the feet to the mat. And just check that you can brush the heels with the fingertips. So that's roughly where you want to be. And we're going to inhale as we lift the hips up, coming into bridge pose. Now you can make this dynamic and engage those inner thigh muscles. You can come on to the tiptoes if you want to try something different. It's your choice. We're going to stay here for a few more breaths. Just really grounding the feet into the mat. Engaging the glutes. Breathing in for three. Another breath for two. Inhale for one. And we're going to slowly release on the exhale. Nice. Just take a moment here and see how you're feeling. When you're ready, we're going to come into our reclined pigeon pose. I want you to take the right foot and place it over the left thigh. Keep that right foot nice and flat. Keep your back nice and neutral on the mat. And just see where that right hip opens. You can use the hand if you want to go a little deeper, but just take your time. And if you want, you can loop the hands through. Take it around the left thigh or the left shin. It's your choice. I'm just staying here for a few moments. Let's take a deep breath in for three. Breathing into the back. Just take another deep inhale for two. Let's take one more inhale for one. And as you exhale, I want you to keep hold of that right foot in the left hand. And you can cradle it a little bit if you want. And just gently release that left foot. So we're just opening up that right hip a little bit more and bit more. And I want you to take hold of that right foot and just start gently straightening that right leg. If it's uncomfortable, then keep it bent. That's absolutely fine. We're just doing a gentle hamstring stretch here. So do any other little variations that you need or that, you, that work for you. And then I want you to rotate that right ankle. Nice big juicy stretch here. And then open and close the foot. So flexing the toes. Point and flex. Quite a strong stretch. I can feel it in my hamstrings. Just take a few more moments here. Take your time. Beautiful. And when you're ready, let's slowly release that leg back to the back. Give it a nice little squeeze in and just bring that right foot to rest on the mat. And just take a moment, see the difference. You should feel some difference between both sides. And we'll turn to the left now. And bring that left foot over that right thigh. And again, just see where that left hip opens. It might be a bit tighter, it might be a bit looser. Taking care here. Keeping the back nice and neutral. So we're trying to create that movement from the hip. You can take the hand and go a little further if it's safe to do so. When you're ready, you can loop the hands through and take it around the right thigh or the right shin. Remember, you can reduce this at any point if it's uncomfortable or becoming painful. 
and be hurting ourselves. Deep inhale for three. Another inhale for two. Feel that breath in the back of the body as well. Let's take one more inhale for one. And when you're ready, you can slowly release that right foot, but just take hold of the left. And just see if you can open up that left foot a little bit more if you want. It's entirely up to you. And we're going to open up that left leg. We're just stretching into the hatch wing. So just go as far as you need, as far as you want. And let's do a few little rotations of that left ankle. Quite a strong stretch. And we're going to flex and point. And remember, you can curl and open the toes as much as you want. We're just exploring our bodies, exploring different movements. Lovely, and slowly bring that knee in to give it a nice little squeeze, and we'll bring it back to the mat. And just take three deep breaths here. And on the next inhale, we're going to come up into bridge pose. Now, if you want to go a little deeper, you can lift up one leg here. But don't lose the lift in the hips if you do that. So remember to keep that honesty in your poses and lose the ego. Then stay here for three. Let's be here for two. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, gently release. Let's take three deep breaths out. When you're ready, we're going to lift up again. And this time you can take the other leg in the air if you want. And remember to engage the glutes because we're coming into a little back bend down. Keeping the quads nicely engaged and pressing the feet into the mat. Let's stay here for three. Deep inhale for two. Taking one more inhale for one. And slowly release on the exhale. And you can just take a couple of moments, see how you feel. When you're ready, we're going to draw the knees into the chest. And I want you to rock up and down. And I want you to come into your boat pose. You're ready. So you can take it as straight legs or bed legs. But keep the back nice and neutral. If you find that you're rounded in the back, just inhale, lift that chest a little bit. There we go. And we're going to just go from low boat to high boat. So we're working into the abs. Taking a deep inhale and exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Taking one more and slowly coming all the way to the mat. Bringing the arms up for a nice big stretch. Going to stay here for three, for two, for one. And I want you to bring the knees back in and let's rock back up into both ways. We're going to do this exercise just one more set after this. So remember to take your version of boat pose, Navasana, and just checking on your back. And we're going to go from low to high. Tap the abs, check that they're working. Remember, you can vary this if you want. You can go up from side to side if you want to work with the obliques. Let's take a couple more. And when you're ready, slowly lowering all the way down. You can have a nice big stretch or you can just rest here. Just staying here for three. Breathing in for two. Deep inhale for one. And when you're ready, let's pull the knee back into the chest and let's rock up and down. Coming back into our final boat pose. Remember, you can do your variation, straight legs or bend. And we're going to go from low to high, working those abs a little bit more. Here's the last step. 
let's stay here for three, two, and on one, slowly coming all the way back to the mat, and just resting here for a few breaths. Whew, hot. When you're ready, I want you to bring the feet flat onto the mat. We're going to inhale, we lift the hips up. And I want you to shift them over to the right slightly as we twist over to the left. Drawing that right shoulder blade towards the mat. Take the gaze wherever it's comfortable. And remember, you can make this twist as deep as you want. It's your choice. And let's breathe in together through that right side body. Nice juicy twist. Inhale, exhaling all the way up, and then coming back up to center on the next inhale. Just taking a half of breath down. When you're ready, we're going to do the other side. So I want you to lift the hips up, shift them over to the left this time, and we're going to twist over to the right. So we're stretching into that left side for you this time. This is one of the ones I probably miss not being able to physically adjust people in. Because sometimes when people are doing a twist, they, they like someone to sort of press onto their thigh or pressing onto that left shoulder as well. So safely taking them deeper into that stretch. And you can use your own hands. You use your right hand to draw that left thigh a little bit further out. It's your choice. And again, just being aware of any differences on this side. We tend to be a little bit tighter on the left, I think. So let's take a deep inhale. Exhaling all the way up. And then let's slowly come up together on the next inhale. Take a few moments, see how you feel. So let's just do one more pose in this position. And we're going to draw the knees into the chest. And I want you to take hold of the feet, the outside of the feet, the big toes, and just rock out into happy baby for a few moments. You can go as crazy as you want. Couple more breaths here. When you're ready, let's slowly draw the knees back in. And I want you to meet me in our tabletop position so you can get there in a safe way. And spread out nice and wide, wrist below the shoulders, knees below the hips. So we're going to take our cat cow breath. So as you inhale, let's tilt the pelvis towards the mat, drawing the belly down, slowly bringing the shoulders in towards each other, and take the gaze up. And as you exhale, let's reverse that motion. So a nice stretch here. Yeah. 
And again, sometimes it's quite nice to watch yourself when you're doing your yoga, just to check your alignment and check how much you're stretching as well, really. You can have a go at doing some of these on the fingertips. You can take a few out from side to side. It's your choice. And you can take the fingers to point towards the body. It's quite strong. Well, I'm appreciating there's more in the heat thing. Just take a couple more and come back to your neutral spine. And we're going to take a puppy pose as well. So bring the arms out wide. Take them a little bit ahead of you and slowly bring the chin or the forehead to the mat. This is a deep stretch into the shoulders. So remember to adjust how you need. Feel that breath all the way in the back of the body as well. Take a couple more here. And when you're ready, slowly, slowly lift yourself up using the hands. And just come back to you sitting on your heel, or you can untap the toes. And we just can take a few shoulder rolls here. Beautiful. And take some in the opposite direction. And we're going to inhale to rise, lift the arms up. Exhale to lower. And you can inhale and lift the bum up as well, it's your choice. And exhale to lower it all. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Let's take two more and we're going to come back to our tabletop position. Beautiful. So nice big stretch. Now bring the hands out in front of you. I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer. So this time I want you to lift the knees slightly. And I want you to take that right hand and we're going to, uh, sorry, take that right knee and we're going to bring it over towards the left so just rocking ourselves into a side tabletop take the left hand off the mat and meet the left elbow to the right knee bringing the bum towards the mat so you can see what i'm doing and then we're going to lift up coming back into tabletop drop the right foot and let's bring it out the other way so the right hand comes off bum goes towards the feet and we're going to so let's see if we can speed that up remember just do it as much as you want it's quite for long, so just breathe with it. And try to do it properly as well. If you need to slow it down, that's fine. I'm going to keep going here for three, for two, for one. Come back to your tabletop, slowly release, and bring yourself into child pose. Just taking a few breaths here. Yeah? Now we're going to do that again if you want. Remember, you can stay in child first. But what we're going to do different with that is as you come to the side and you bring the elbow to meet the knee, you've got the option of also straightening that bottom leg and then lifting up, going around, straightening that bottom leg. Okay, so let's just take a couple more breaths in child pose. And when you're ready, you should have some water. So thirsty. You really notice it a lot more in this heat when you talk, your mouth gets so dry. All right, come back to the tabletop, lift the knees off, and let's shift the bum over to the right, bringing that left knee to the left, uh, to the right, the right knee to the left elbow. Option to straighten that right leg. Swinging it around the other side. Let's straighten the left leg if you want. Let's just keep going. The three. The two. Taking one. We'll do one more on that side and slowly come back. 
and bring yourself back into child pose. We won't do any more of those. Don't worry, just come into child pose for a few breaths. Ooh. Remember, child pose is always there at any point during the practice. Let's just take a couple more breaths here. And when you're ready, I want you to meet me back in tabletop position. And we're going to slowly tuck the toes under. Inhale, we lift the hips all the way up, coming into downward facing dog. So just take your time. Pedal the feet, bend the knees. Let's externally rotate the upper arm. So a nice open shoulders here as well. Let's inhale to lift the heels. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower one more time. And we're going to take three lines breath there. Remember to keep the back nice and strong as well. So we're breathing into the spine, breathing into the pelvis of the lower back. We're going to take one more inhale together. And as you exhale, let's take the gaze between the hands and slowly walk the feet towards the hands. So we're going to come into our little rag doll at the top of the mat. And just swing it out, shake it out. Remember, you can bend your knees here if you need to. Let's shake the head, nod the head. When you're ready, take hold of whatever's available. So it could be the mat, the feet, the shins, the thighs, whatever works for you. And we're just going to enjoy that breath and space. We're going to inhale, we lift the chest, breath in up, exhale, to lower. We inhale, and exhale. And you might find more space with each breath, and you might not, and that's completely fine. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly start coming all the way up. So remember to bend the knees if you need to help come up. Take care of the back. The option to shoot the fingers up, come onto the tiptoes, nice big stretch. And release. Lovely. And let's just shake it all out. And I want you to meet me in the last of that, mountain pose. So remember to bring the feet together all apart. Lift those toes up and spread them out, bring them back to the mat. Shoulders away from the ears, arms by the side. Feel free to engage that jai breath, that constriction at the back of the throat, creating that ocean-like sound. That length in the body, almost like you're being pulled up to the side. We're going to inhale to rise, take the gaze up. Exhale, let's fold forward for minutes. Inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale, let's step back into plank. Holding plank for a little bit longer, draw the heels away, check your alignment. If you're dipping at the hips, engage the core, and lift up high. Let's take a deep inhale together. As you exhale, you can drop the knees, bend the elbows in towards the ribs. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adjust the feet if you need to. Breathe in, breathe out.
Let's take a deep inhale. As you exhale, take the gaze between the hands and I want you to step or walk feet to hands. We're going to inhale for halfway lift. Exhale to fold. <clears throat> inhale to rise through her soft and gaze up. Exhale to release. Beautiful. Take a few moments here. Find your tadasana. Remember, you can keep the feet apart or together, whatever works for you. Beautiful breath in, all the way out. Let's inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, feel halfway. Exhale, let's take it back into plank. Hold it here for a little bit longer. Check your alignment. Here. Engage that core nice and strong, working into the triceps. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, let's lower it down, hugging the elbows in, and let's open the heart. Downward facing, breathe in, breathe out. <coughs> if there's any pain in the hamstring, just lift the heels, bend the knees, okay? So just work with your body. We're going to inhale that right leg in the air, keeping the hips nice and straight. As you exhale, I want you to bend that right knee. Bring that right knee forward, and we're going to come into pigeon pose. So slowly drop yourself onto the mat, keeping that right foot nice and flat, protecting that knee. You can stay upright, upright, or you can walk the fingers forward and coming all the way down. It's your choice. A few more moments now. <clears throat> it's sometimes quite good to wait a cushion under that right glute because the buttocks lifted a bit high sometimes. Excellent. On the next thing, now just bring yourself up with your flat on the mat. And I want you to slowly bring that left leg all the way in front of you. Bring the hands to heart center. Keep the back neutral. We're going to pulse that left leg up and down. For three, for two, keep that back nice and neutral for one, and release. And I want you to slowly bring the right foot so that it's on the inside of that left thigh and make your adjustments. Check you're nicely grounded. We're going to inhale, we lift through the upper body, exhale, we hinge forward. Remember that nice stretch. You can take hold of the foot if it's available, or the mat, or the ground on either side. We inhale to lift, exhale to lower. And remember to check your alignment. If you feel that you're slouching at the back, you just lift up. That's absolutely fine. Take a couple more breaths there. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly lift up. And this time, I want you to inhale as you lift that right arm up. Feel that stretch. And we're going to exhale the stretch over towards that left foot. We're going to inhale to lift up. Bring that right arm all the way behind you. We're going to inhale that left arm up and be opening the hips. So drawing the heart up towards the sky. Beautiful. Let's take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, slowly bring the bum back to the mat. We're going to straighten the right leg out. Bring the hands behind, fingers pointing towards the toes. Coming up into your reverse plank. Drop the head back. And let's breathe in. As you inhale, I want you to slowly lift the chin, bring it towards the chest, and slowly bring the bum back to the mat. Nice. And bring the hands out in front of you, and I want you to come back into your downward facing dog. And from here, you can come into child's pose, or you can lift that right leg in the air again, and we can stack the right hip over the left, and you've got the option of dropping back into well. But the choice is yours. If you all meet back in downward facing dog, 
You can flow through a three-legged vinyasa, keeping that right leg up, coming forward into three-legged plank, floating up, and meeting us in downward facing. Let's take three lion's breaths here. Feel that breath in the back of the body as well. Take one more inhale. Exhale as you gaze between the hands, and you can step, walk, or float feet to hands. Inhale, be a halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale to take a few breaths. So we're going to do that same thing on the other side. Remember to have lots of water. So just slowly come back into your mountain pose. Lift the toes up, spread them out. Shoulders away from the ears, arms by the side. Good. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's step back into plank. Remember to take your time here, draw the heels away, hands spread out onto the mat. Take a deep in now as you exhale, elbows in, and let's open the heart. Downward facing dog. You take your time. A couple more breaths here. And let's take that left leg up in the air, keeping the hips in line. We're going to bend that left knee, bring it forward, coming into pigeon pose the other side. So just be mindful, it must be very different now. Definitely tighter for me. So just do your variation here for a few moments. You can walk the fingers forward. You can stay where you are. Ready on the next inhale, you can bring yourself up with your ribs down, and I want you to slowly bring that right leg out in front of you, hands to heart center, neutral spine, and we're going to pulse that right leg up and down, working into the core a little bit for three, for two, for one, and release. And slowly bring that left foot to rest on the inside of that right thigh. Place your hand around the hips, check your nice to the ground into the mat. We're going to inhale. As we lift and lengthen and exhale, we hinge forward from the hips. You can take hold of the foot if it's available, but do these poses with honesty. So feel that length in the back and we reach forward. A bit of a tendency to slump here because you want to grab hold of that foot. So really just within yourself. And We're just going to take a couple more breaths here. And when you're ready, slowly walk yourself up from the inhale. And we're going to inhale as we take that left arm up to feel that stretch. I'm going to stretch over towards that right foot. You're doing really well, everyone. So we're not too far off the end. A few minutes to go. We're going to inhale, we lift that left arm up, float it behind us, shoot the right arm up as we open the heart. Nice. Slowly coming back to the mat. And we're going to meet in downward facing dog. You have the option of lifting that left leg up, stacking the hips. You can come into wild thing if you want. And if you want, you can work through a three legged vinyasa. But we're all going to meet in downward facing dog. So let's take three lion's breaths here. Breathing into the back there. Take a deep inhale. 
As you exhale, take the gaze between the hands and we're going to step more or float, feet to hands. Inhale, be halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Through her thumb. Exhale to release. Lovely. Let's just shake it all out. We've just got a few minutes to go. I want you to come to your goddess pose. So bring yourself out. Toes pointing away from midline. And let's just slowly sink in. And just bring the hands onto the knees. So make sure they're sort of pressed a little bit away. So you're working to these parts as well. And we're going to pulse it here for five, four, three, two, one. And I want you to stay down. And let's have a little bit of free movement. So taking the hips out from side to side. You can sway the arms. And let's get those movements bigger as well. So take it over to the right, over to the left. So feel that stretch all the way. Just do whatever comes to your mind, really. Feel free to work into the shoulders, stretch them into the ribs, the upper body. And I want you to slowly inhale to take the arms all the way up. Take all the opposite elbows. Inhale to lift the shoulders up. And exhale to release, bring the hands down. Let's do it again. Inhale to lift. Take a lot of opposite elbows. Nice big stretch. And release. Just take a few shoulder rolls. In both directions. You can keep the knees bent here. You can straighten them up if you want. It's entirely up to you. And when you're ready, let's slowly start straightening the legs. Bring the hands to the waist. And let's take a beautiful back bend here. So open the heart. And then let's fall forward from the hips. Just take hold of the mat or the feet, whatever's available. Support yourself here. Let's bring the hands back to the waist. Inhale, come all the way up. And I want you to meet me at the top of the mat. And we're going to come into the last one last time. Let's inhale to rise. Exhale, let's fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, let's step it back to our final plank pose. Take a deep inhale. Exhale to lower it down through Chaturanga. Downward facing the dog. Take a deep inhale. Two more lines, breath down. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, take the gaze between the hands. We're going to step or float through to seated. And slowly bring yourself all the way down into your final Shavasana. So feel free to have a squeeze and then exhale everything out. When you're ready, we're just going to start deepening the breath. Let's slowly start wriggling the fingers and the toes. And then we're going to take the ankles and the wrists in both directions. And just take any other little stretches that you need and meet me in our comfortable cross-legged position. A few breaths. 
keeping the eyes closed and the face soft. And just slowly bringing the hands to heart centre. And we're going to end today's practice with our three clearing breaths. You could slowly bring the thumb to the third eye. I want to thank you for joining me in today's practice. Thank you for joining me on this journey, creativity and flow. The inner light for me will always honour the inner light in each and every one of you. And just remember, if you're struggling and you're feeling stressed or anxious and wondering how you're going to handle what the day presents to you, just remember all the bad stuff that you've already handled when you come through, you're much, much stronger than you think you are. Thank you so much for today's practice. Thanks, Thanks, very much. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Shabs. Thanks a lot. How Bye. are you feeling, Caroline? How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm okay. Um, I have to be really careful with what I'm doing. Um, you know, certain movements I can tell are really, you know, the go through the core. I mean, a lot, nearly all of it. But, um, so I'm just be doing it really carefully and, you know, getting on my knees when I can and just being mindful. But yeah, just waiting, waiting to hear from the hospital. Oh, God. Yeah. Good luck with all of that. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. You're right. Yeah, not too bad. What I was saying to you before was like, it just makes you think, doesn't it? Like when you become a partner, it's like, ah! Yeah. Big. But I don't think that's everyone. I think, um, I like Stephen, but I think he's quite old school. And, but he's really, really, really sweet though. Because when he said that to me, he goes, please, please don't take it as any kind of criticism. It's just a little bit of mentoring. And yeah. I said, no, absolutely. Because I, I, I don't mind criticism in a way, because that's how you improve, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, yeah. But he, just, he goes, yeah, apparently, he goes, I'm only saying it because I learned it at a partner's conference. They said, you should never let the client know how busy you are. I was a bit, but I don't know, because you have to kind of balance that out with sort of managing their expectations, isn't it? And, yeah, then, and I said to him, like, okay, so I get that, but would I just, how would I frame it? Would I frame it more positively? And he was like, yeah, because you kind of just said when you're not available. And I was like, yeah, fair point. So he goes, just say you're not available, but you're available here. Yes. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Yes. So that was quite useful, actually. Yes. But it was interesting that he said that he made himself available for that conference on Friday. And I, mean, I don't think he was saying anything to me about it personally, um, because I said, I, you know, I actually am on leave and I, and I have to go to the hospital. Because I yeah. said, what procedure. So he was totally fine, because he was like, yeah, I don't mind doing it. But it did make me think, like, wow, like... They, is there an expectation that you have to, I don't know it's kind of weird because then you did say at the same time you just, clients can't expect you to be available 24 7 so no. I think it was reasonably balanced yeah yeah most people are pretty reasonable and understand that you haven't got all the time in the world just for them it's just a question of reframing how you say things isn't it yeah so that was good advice really because he was like yeah. the client's not going to really care that you've got this to do and that to do yeah <laughs> Uh, I'm preparing for something next week and I was like well, he's not going to care is he really <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. learning isn't it I suppose yeah big learning curve <laughs> alright my love I'll let you go and um, I don't know if I'll be able to do the class tomorrow if I can I'll drop an email um, but it's just because I'm out of the office on Thursday because I'm meeting a surveyor on Thursday and I've got a medical appointment in the afternoon and then Friday okay. yeah. so it might be so much work to do <laughs> Yeah, you're at the big wigs now. <laughs> oh, and I've got Big Martin up today because he's in tooting and obviously with his bloody boot, oh, he can't get the Martin. I dropped him off on Thursday evening and then I have to pick him up tonight. <laughs> yeah, oh, bless him. Miss Rush yeah. Hour. But yeah, I do feel for him, man. Bloody hell. It's getting, he's getting a bit Another down by him now. Another summer, yeah. I know. Well, look, I'll let you go. Sorry to take up your time, but I'll speak no, to you. silly. <laughs> Thanks for the lovely class. All right, take care, love. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye.